I'm going to teach you how to use the General Hydroponics Trio. Now this trio has been proven out because I wanted to show those non-believers that I can in fact grow out some fire bud with what these well-versed growers say, and I quote, is a basic trio. It's relatively cheap, and this is basically a f you to all you smug growers that think they need overpriced nutrient lines to grow good bud. Well, I used it, and the results can be seen in my strain hunt winner video. Or matter of fact, check the description and you can see the actual grow journal on that. Now, this trio is broken down into three different bottles. There's Flora Micro, Flora Grow, and Flora Bloom. My feed chart breaks down the exact measurements you need to use for each week in milliliters per gallon. This chart is based on happy frog as the base soil. So if you're using a different soil, these numbers will be all off. I mathematically calculated each dosage for optimal growth and you could see my calculations here. Anyway, on this chart, the order in which you're adding the nutrients is from left to right. Flora Micro already has calcium and Grow and Bloom already have magnesium, which is why there isn't much need for CalMag. Flora Micro is one of my favorite nutrients. It's definitely MVP in this trio because it has all the trace nutrients that you're gonna need. Flora Grow is the worst out of the trio, and honestly, I think you could probably do without it. But I used it anyway to hit my target NPKs better. Flora Bloom is great for bloom, and it also has sulfur, which a lot of nutrient lines fail to add, and I think it's definitely required for fat buds. Finally, after adding all the nutrients, the last and final step is to pH balance it to the amount on the last column using pH up or down, usually up though. Now, it's important to understand that this feed schedule is a two on and one off cycle. For example, let's say your first feeding is on day nine. That's considered week two, but since there's no nutrients added in week two, we'll be adding zero additions. Next feeding was on day 15, which we're going to feed with nutrients because that's on week three. Third feeding on day 21 is going to be plain water because that's considered the third feed in the cycle. So it's a flush that basically is gonna let the plant absorb what nutrients are left in the soil. That way concentrations don't build up. Again, fourth feeding is with newts, fifth feeding is with newts, sixth feeding is without, seventh with, eighth with, ninth without. It's a three feed cycle, on, on, off. Now, if you're unsure about how much to feed, take the volume of the soil in your pot and multiply it by 0 0.08. That seems to be the number I'm comfortable with and don't feed again until the soil is dry. To know when it's dry, take your finger and finger the soil about an inch deep and if soil is sticking to your fingertip, it's still too wet. Wait another day and finger it again. This is a great trio, and to be honest, I think it works better than Fox Farms Trio, and I will be redoing my whole entire guide. That is all.